These are the 10 most famous foods in New York and where to try them. I am Sarah, a licensed New York City tour guide, and today I am going to bring you to all of the places that you must try if you're visiting New York City, so let's go. Let's go with the baby. <laughs> you think it's funny that I almost left you? I met with lifelong New Yorker and NYC YouTuber Action Kid to visit some of these iconic spots for you. Let's head to our first one. The pastrami sandwich, get it at Cats. We just got this lovely masterpiece here. You haven't had this in years. I haven't had it in so long. Oh my God, you're in for a treat. Here, take a side. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, it's, it's hanging like, already. Look at how much meat that is. Oh my is. gosh. Literally one side of this sandwich is probably three or four inches high. Cheers. Cheers. For $26, a sandwich has to really deliver. And I think this does. This one side is large enough for me for one meal. So kind of like two meals in one, at least for me. Mm -hmm. What do you think? This really just fits you. The cut of meat here is amazing. I also recommend getting the matzo ball soup if you're here. This is another one of their signature items. Giant matzo ball comes inside of it. I mean, it's, this matzo ball is the size of a baseball. It kind of is like um, chicken noodle soup, except all the noodles are put together in one ball. I like it. <laughs> it's efficient. It's they hearty. just put it all together. I know. It is hearty for a soup, yeah. yeah. It's really good. The Cronut. You gotta get it at Dominique Ansel. They made this amazing creation in 2011. Ken, have you had this before? Never. Me either. They combined a uh, donut and a croissant together to make this. Can I try some? Let me try it. Mmm. No. Looks like there's already some kind of like jam coming out. Circle. Yes, and Bella has said it is a circle, which is a good observation. <laughs> mm. Whoa, yours has like chocolate frosting on the inside too. Wow. It's good, right? This is amazing. I love that texture of like the flaky croissant. It's like chocolate frosting inside. It's freaking incredible. Important tip here is that if you want to come and get the Cronut, you have to arrive early because they literally sell out every single day. So that's an important detail. Yummy, let's head to our next spot. Halal food, get it at Adele's famous halal food. They have the best halal in the city and everyone knows it. Every aspect from the rice to the sauce and the meat, they just get it. The meat especially is super fresh, tender and well seasoned. The white sauce also is super addicting and pulls everything together perfectly. Now an important detail of this is they only operate at nighttime between 6 and 4 a.m. on weekdays and ending at 5 a.m. on weekends. The wait time can range. It could be anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. So just be prepared but don't worry, you'll be rewarded with delicious, flavorful, and heartwarming halal food. Pizza, of course. Get it at Lombardi's, Bleecker Street Pizza, Patsy's, Champion's Pizza, or honestly, any local pizza spot. Avoid big chains like Pizza Hut or Domino's. That isn't real New York pizza. Luckily, pizza here is great practically anywhere you go. The big choice you'll have to make is whether to buy a pie or a slice. Cheesecake, get it at Eileen's or Junior's. We're here at Eileen's right now. I love this spot because they've been around since the 1970s, so you know that that's good. And they have all these cute little cheesecakes so you don't have to commit to a full slice. I recommend the strawberry, but honestly, any flavor is delicious. Look how cute that is. Okay, that's not an overwhelming slice. Sometimes when you go to cheesecake spots, they give you such a huge piece, it's just not possible. So good. See if it's as good as I remember it. Oh yeah. The best cheesecake in New York, hands down. A lot of people think mm -hmm. Junior's is the only spot to get good cheesecake. It's good too, but I find <laughs> theirs could be a little bit like more heavy and not mm -hmm. as savory, I just mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. This, this is, is much better. This is like fluffy, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Don't miss this spot. Totally. Another classic New York item. The chopped cheese you can get really at any local deli in New York. I'm heading to my local deli right now, but the spot that it really is most famous for is called Blue Sky Deli, and that is in East Harlem. Most New Yorkers would agree, just go to your local deli. This is similar to a Philly cheesesteak, but it's the New York City version. The chopped cheese is ground beef, onion, tomato, and melted cheese, and then it's put on a roll. That is a hearty sandwich. Cheers with myself. Super, super savory, very greasy, definitely something I would get when I've been drinking a lot. That's typical New York, so you know what to do. If you went to the clubs, get one of these. 
The bagel, get it at Russ and Daughters or Tompkins Square Bagel. No matter where you go, I recommend getting it with cream cheese and lox. This is the New York way. My favorite version of this is at Russ and Daughters. Let's try it. Wow. <laughs> It's perfection in a bite. Like everything is just so phenomenal. Like it's, the flavors are so well balanced. The locks, I feel like I can never have locks ever again, except from here. Classic egg cream sold here. Let's go inside and get some. Okay. Vanilla, chocolate, soda, and milk. That's right. There is no egg in an egg cream. No way. Kim Kardashian came here apparently. And Kylie Jenner. This place is definitely old school. How long have you guys been around for? 50 years, uh -huh. wow. So that's a proper egg cream for you. Has a little froth on the top. Black and white is the way to go. How do I eat, do I do it with a straw or sip it? No, you can drink. This is a big moment for me, I've never had them. Oh, that's so nice. It tastes like um, a milkshake, but like almost carbonated, but in a good way. That's a weird way to explain it. You explain it, Ken, you explain All right, it. let's try it. Really, really smooth. Like that foam really hits you, and I just—it feels good. Like it's like a hint of egg flavor in it. I can see why it's called an egg cream, but there's no egg in it. The black and white cookie. You can get it in a lot of places in Manhattan. The most notable spot is Amy's Bread. However, I am on a quest to find one in my local supermarket. And guess what? There they are! The cookie is actually a drop cake in which extra flour is added to the cupcake batter and then baked into a cookie shape. The result, sponge-like and cakey, is then smothered in chocolate and vanilla frostings. They normally are larger, I would say like this big. These I prefer though because the big ones are a bit too large in my opinion and this is like perfect with a cup of coffee or something. Mmm, these are totally underestimated. I don't know why these aren't everywhere. They're so chewy. Definitely get this. Go to Amy's Bread if you can. That's like the spot to get it, but you can get it in most grocery stores in the city. Black and white cookie. It's a classic. The hot dog, get it at Papaya Dog or Nathan's. Let's go inside and check it out. Here we have our hot dogs. We have a plain one. You can put ketchup, mustard on it. That's the standard That's way, That's the right? standard way, Ketchup, yeah. mustard. Maybe relish. But if you want to be creative and you want to do what the locals do, get a chili cheese dog. It's really tasty. I mean, it's literally chili cheese. So imagine those flavors together on a hot dog. It's great. Winning all around. Ken, please try. I'm very curious your thoughts. Have you ever had this? I don't think I've had this. I mean, maybe from like Nathan's, but maybe a long time ago. Let's try a chili cheese from Papaya Dog. I'm impressed. Good mix of flavors in here. Love the cheese, the chili, and you have that snap from the hot dog, which a lot of places don't have. Isn't this where you fell? Yes, it is. I'm gonna see if we can, oh, I <laughs> Those are 10 iconic food places that you need to check out in New York City. If you want to try a little bit of everything, I recommend checking out my food store. We bring you to a bunch of different eateries in three hours. Thanks so much for joining me. See you next time.